having met Jill at a uh, community safety project uh, that I was, uh, I was working on, I realised that actually with some facilities, the organisation that she ran, Pulp Friction, would go from strength to strength. So Pulp Friction is a community interest company. We're a social enterprise and we work with young adults who have a learning difficulty or a learning disability. And we aim to support them to develop their social skills, independent skills and work readiness skills. And the Pulp Friction Kitchen and Canteen here at NFRS is one of our projects. Uh, we've been here for a year. We moved in last January and started serving the staff here at the site. We currently have 12 members, we call people who work with us members. So we have 12 members who work with us and all of them actually pay to come here to access our service. So we operate as an alternative to a traditional day service and our members use their personal budgets or direct payments which they get from social services in order to be able to access what we do. We aim to encourage people to think about their lifestyle, healthy food choices, but also to develop skills which they can take forward into life. It's about my second family. Very nice customers. Yeah, like. especially Chris is funny. <laughs> Chris is funny, yeah. Very caring as well. Yeah. Oh, a purpose to wake up every day. So Port Friction came along uh, and, and set up within our canteen area and really this place has become a hive of activity and a hub whereas previously it was um, somewhere that nobody really came to or just came to heat up, heat up a bit of soup. Now we all come, different departments talk to each other and it's a, uh, it's a great welcoming place to be. Um, and also all of our members will have the opportunity and we will get each one of them through a, prop, a qualification, the same qualification that you or I would need in order to work in the catering industry. So for example, yesterday five of our volunteers and a couple of our members took part in some first aid at work training and in the upcoming months we've got some level two food safety training that will come up and as I say we will get all of our members through that training so that they have exactly the same qualification that anybody who needs to work in this industry should have. Thank you. Actually, if it wasn't for Jill Carter, I didn't think I'd be cooking in my own kitchen. Yeah, I don't think if I haven't got to know Jill, I don't think I would have not been here where I would be here now.